Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and welcome to another episode of Shoe Review. I have been blessed with quite a few shoes for review lately, so I am just trekking along. If you have seen some of my videos, it seems that those are coming frequently right now, but I am very inspired by your wonderful choices of shoes that you have sent me. So today I am doing a review of a pair of shoes and a talk about purpose once again. So, but first let's take a look at the shoes. Here are the shoes and they are a beautiful black pair of mules and I do not know how to say that name. Kamso, Kamsu, Kamsu. I would say Kamsu, correct? And very cute. I have been walking around the house in them and they are easy to walk in. So I will do a review of them later, but we are gonna talk about this shoe and how it fits into the topic for today. First of all, you guys are all my tech support. So thanks for the feedback on lighting and angles. And now I have a beautiful chair, which actually my mama got the same chair for her house. And so I thought I would try out my beautiful chair that I'm using in my prayer room here. I use this interchangeably with the suite and the secret room and <laughs> prayer room, but this room is a, a nice little nook behind my closet, which hopefully is getting um, fixed up tomorrow. So I am really hoping I'm gonna have a shoe closet to show you soon. But anyway, you can tell me what you think. I still don't think the lighting is the best, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. And I am just hoping that eventually I can figure out the best configuration for everything. Plus on top of it, I've broken the tripod several times and I just, you know, being your own tech support is not <laughs> always the easiest, but so. We are talking today about purpose, and I talk about this frequently. And the, I would like to review quickly, and this is, there's a reason for this, the shoe review concept. I have been asked in the past if people can send me shoes. And when my husband and I discussed it, it became kind of clear that doing a shoe review would be very kind of true to myself and that makes sense that I would do that sort of thing. But sometimes people have expectations that they want special videos, special pictures, or they perhaps want me to send the shoes back or whatever the case. And because my time is so limited, I just, have chosen not to try to go in that direction with things. And so I try to make it really clear that if I do a shoe review, it's simply for that purpose and I'm not gonna be doing special content and things like that. And the reason that I bring that up in the beginning of this video is because your purpose has a lot to do with the decisions that you make. So if my purpose was strictly to make money and gather a big storehouse of shoes, then it would be logical that I would make special content or things for the person that would send me the shoes, make money off of it and that kind of thing. Because that's not my purpose, I can't make decisions in that direction. And I'm not saying that's a problem for other people, but they, they probably have a different purpose for why they're doing what they do. And so I think it's super important for us to begin with what is our end goal or what is our reason? And then we can kind of make our decisions based off of that. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, with a lot of the people that send me shoes for shoe review, they are people that 
I've known for a while, a long time in some cases. They know what I'm doing. They support my purpose. Their purpose may be totally different, but they support what I do. And so it's very easy be, for me to receive the shoes for shoe review because I know they don't have any specific expectations of me or what have you. And that makes it very easy for me to feel comfortable doing what I do. So the person that sent these shoes to me is one of those people. And I asked him specifically, do you have any topics that you're thinking you would like me to talk about since these are a pair of shoes that you sent? And I know that he's not going to have some like weird off track thing that he would ask me. <laughs> so he said, why don't you talk about purpose and how it can change at different times in your life? And I thought about that because it is very, very true. I think at, the, at our core, we have a purpose as mankind and as people. I think that we have a universal purpose. Now, some people do that purpose in different ways, but I think at the core, we do have a similar purpose purpose and I'll I'll get into that but because of stages of life because everybody has different lives different interests and different things that they're going through at the time that could change depending on the season of your life but I even want to back it up even more than that and try to maybe take the word purpose and break it down just a little bit because I think that that sounds so gigantic and it sounds as if there is this thing that if you could only figure it out, then everything would make sense and you would just be done. Like you'd be set on your way, boom. And to me, the whole idea of purpose, because it almost sounds like I have to quit my job and go do X, Y, Z, go off to some other country and witness to people, or I have to um, completely abandon all the things I love in order to do this one thing that is my purpose. And I don't think that's the case at all. And so I think sometimes... Talking about purpose is very intimidating, plus it's actually misleading because purpose is something that does evolve and change over time, but it also doesn't have to be this lofty thing in the future that you may or may not ever find. I believe it needs to be in your day today as you are at this moment. And the reason for that is you may be in a job and your purpose is to be a hard worker and to show kindness to the people you work with. What does that do? It does a lot. First of all, we need people that have good character and integrity and good qualities at their root because that makes all the other things that are affected by them flow and work together in harmony. And so your purpose today may just not to be snappy at the person that you're working with to show them some grace and love and kindness. Maybe that one act would keep them from hurting themselves later from going home and drinking themselves into a, into a stupor. There are all kinds of little actions that we take during the day that we have no idea what effect that will have on another person. And a lot of times your purpose is served completely in those moments. There's a Bible verse that talks about 
Jesus telling his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations and to do it as they go, meaning they weren't necessarily going to just get to a destination and talk to these people about the gospel. It was as they lived, as they moved, as they had their being, they were carrying him with them and sharing the love that he had with the people around them. And that's what Jesus did too. He went out and he would talk to people. He would talk to them in parables. He would talk to them. But a lot of what he did was he sat and ate with them and he healed them and he cast out demons and he took care of the people that were close and near and around him day to day. And part of what he did was take care of himself. He stepped aside and spent time with the father in prayer. He took time away to rest. So he didn't work constantly, even though his purpose, we know his purpose was to come and save us because we can't save ourselves. But as he went, he showered people with love and grace. He convicted people that were spouting off religious nonsense and making other people feel shame. He was righting wrongs and doing all kinds of beautiful, good and wonderful things as he went. And of course, him being God, of course, we know he's going to make those right choices. But for us, we can role model after him in the way that he lived in his moment, in his days. And as I said in the beginning, I think that we all have a purpose. Now, some people are going to achieve it in a different way. Some people are going to maybe never really figure out this concept. But I really believe that whether or not you believe the Bible or you follow along with my journey as a Jesus follower, loving our neighbor as we love ourselves is a concept I think we can all relate to. And I think we could all get to understand how much of a difference that can make in the world and in our personal lives. I believe the two greatest commandments that Jesus gave are the ones that basically tell us our purpose and that is to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And the reason the first one is important is because when you know that your creator is sovereign and that all the things that come at you, he can turn them to good even if they're bad things. He can make good come out of them because a lot of times those things that come at us are things that are either going to strengthen us or they're going to help us to help other people because when we go through things, we become a connection, a connecting piece to other people because we relate to them. And so when we have that divine connection, we know who we are. We know our place is completely beloved children of God. It also flows out from there that we can obviously love other people, even people that are not lovable, and especially people that are not lovable. My, I've mentioned this before, but my girlfriend told me one day when I was having trouble with somebody I would call an enemy, and it was somebody on social media that was saying things to me that were not nice. And I said, well, I'm going to pray that the Lord changes this person's heart. And she told me, well, you know what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pray for your enemy and bless them. And that means you ask God to give them the same blessings that you ask for yourself. And that's when I realized love your neighbor as yourself is way harder than it appears <laughs> because that's not what I wanted to do in that moment. I thought I was being a good Christian girl saying, I'm going to pray for them to, for God to change their heart. Instead, I was praying that God would shower them with love 
from somebody that just thought they were the be all end all and that their children would be blessed and that they would be blessed financially and that they would have peace and joy and all the things that I pray for for myself. And I started praying that for my enemy. And of course, we probably all know the punchline here is that it changed me. I had more compassion for this person, even if they never change their heart, even if they never get it, I had a change of heart for that person because I realized how often I fall short and blow it and say things I don't mean. And yeah, it might not be quite as obvious or quite as rude, but it still is not the best way. And it made me say, you know what? Yep, I, I do the same thing in different ways. And man, I still want God to bless me. So I can pray that this person gets blessed because blessings do tend to soften our hearts. But getting back to the, the main point was that when you love your neighbor as yourself, it not only changes you, but it changes the people around you. And I believe that in our day-to-day -day lives, that is our purpose because it can come in different seasons, at different times, in different ways, but it can cause a ripple effect to the people around us. So in your today, the day that you're in at this moment, you are doing your purpose if you are loving other people the way that you love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, that is a whole issue, which we can talk about at some point. But basically, just think about it this way. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. So whether or not you feel like you love yourself, if you can treat other people the way that you would want them to treat you, that is the key. And I wanted to say that I brought this up on social media. I had posed the question, if people knew what my purpose was for being on social media. And I was curious on multiple levels about this. And that it's the reason I asked the question. One thing was, I was curious how many people would say a surface level reason I was curious how many people really do understand why I'm on social media. And I was also curious how people would present it to me because it tells me about the other person, not good or bad, but just their thought process. And I love that. And one of my favorite things, Things when I'm on social media is when I have done live stream. And the reason is that I feel like I get to connect on a completely different level and it feels very real to me. And I really love that. So when I pose this question and I got all these responses back and I was able to reply to those people, I got such a different connection with all of those wonderful comments. And it reminded me how important it is that we have connections to people. We cannot just live in a, some kind of isolated state and not connect to people. We will not be fulfilled. And it might, it might show up in different ways for you. You may support me like you have been in watching my videos, making a comment. I've actually had people donate money to support the work that I'm doing. Um, I get the shoes for shoe review, which helps provide content. That may be your purpose in the moment is to help support me or others. I'm not saying that you need to do that. I wasn't soliciting you, but what I'm saying is that sometimes those little things that you do are your purpose for right now. I try to, to support other ministries that are doing things that I might not be able to do, but I believe in them and I want to help them financially, even if I can't do the things that they do. My friends, the Hollybells, 
have a beautiful ministry of music and I love to support them. I wish I could sing. I wish I could play an instrument. I wish I could use my musical talent, which I have none, <laughs> toward serving a purpose, but they do. And so I get to support them in that. And of course, many of other ministries and things that I get to do. That is a big part of why I'm doing Patreon coming up, hopefully January 1st, Lord willing, I can get everything set up. And the reason for that is I am going to be able to support different ministries. One thing that I love to support is the school in India that I've been supporting over the years. These girls are coming from a very poor situation, but they are given an opportunity to get educated so they can better their lives and their family lives. And that is one way I can love my neighbor as myself. I'm also supporting a local community program with teenagers that are making their lives better. And so I've been supporting these along the way over the years, but now I would love, love to bump it up. And so to me, that gets me so excited. And for you, you may find that in this season of your life, you can do more financial support or you can do more verbal support toward other people. Or maybe you pay the person behind in the McDonald's line, you pay their, their bill for that day. And these little acts are huge. When, you, when you're the recipient of it, you realize how important it is. Sometimes when you're doing those things, you don't realize the impact. But those are the things that I believe are your purpose. So when you have a big, gigantic idea of how you want to serve people, I think that's a beautiful thing. And it's a wonderful thing. And you should go for it. But there's nothing wrong with you having what are maybe many purposes along the way, little things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis within your normal workday, within your normal sphere of influence, whatever and whoever is around you. Those are probably going to make bigger impacts than if you tried to create an entire life built around this other purpose. I, I don't know if I've made sense there, but what I'm basically hoping that you'll take away from this is that Wherever you are in whatever you're doing today, you have the ability to do your purpose. And that is show love and kindness and grace and to extend what you want for yourself toward another person. And that will make the biggest difference ever. I did say that I was going to talk about the responses to my purpose question. I actually printed out most of them. And I'm not going to say names because I'm not sure which people are going to be okay with me saying their name, but I have to tell you, I was shocked that I would say at least 80% of the people that responded touched on my purpose for being on social media. Of course, you know, I do high heels and a lot of that seems very base, but I would say about 80% of the people that responded didn't even talk about my feet or heels. They talked about the stuff that I talk about, <laughs> which I was super blessed. Now, if you said something about my feet or my heels, it's fine. I mean, you, that's what you've seen. Maybe you haven't been around that long, or maybe that is what your perspective is at this moment. And I get that. But I'm just going to read some of these because I, t I just was so blessed and I hope that if you're watching that you will realize that you did your purpose with me by sending me this. So to inspire us to be our true selves and let God lead the way. Um, because you wish to spread the word of God, to spread love, positivity, and joy because you have a passion for helping others 
Okay, some of these are just funny and cute because you love causing mass distraction with your beauty. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Um, to share your life experiences and in doing so, helping others along the way. To bring happiness to others. Spreading the word, the fire, to as many as you can reach. To spread positivity. To share God's word and to show people to him. At least for me, this is why. And I thank him for you. Ministry. Spread the word and show off your cute shoes, lol. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, some of these others, oh, let me, let me see, did I go over all of these? Okay, you know I'm answering this one. You have a passion to spread God's word with beauty and grace. To share your positivity and radiance with the world. To reach a larger group of people. And then I had a few people, let's see, one said I'm not 100% but please don't leave. I enjoy your posts. And I love that. And then I had another friend who said to normalize fetish and the love for love. And I thought that was really amazing. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know that this comment I could go on and on about. I do think it's all about love. And I like to remove shame from things that I think are not necessarily um, shouldn't, not even not necessarily, they should not be associated with that word shame. So I believe that we can love all the things God made in proper context and, and whatnot in a respectful and loving way. And so I would agree with that. Um, on and on, there were a few that talked about, um, my heels and things like that. But I would say for the most part, people were completely on and I love that. And so you're going to find that through stages and seasons of life, it's going to feel different and you may feel like you're sort of searching for something more. And that's a good thing. I think you can prayerfully ask God, where, where, what is the more I'm looking for? What is it that you want me to do at this moment? But if you're not sure, or you're feeling like whatever it is, it's not enough, I would just say, look for your moments in your day and be very open to opportunities, but also the feedback you get when you bless people. Um, sometimes people won't get it and you can just chalk that up to people being busy and even more in need of that kind of love. And sometimes you're going to get a lot of positive responses and sometimes you're going to get negative responses because people don't know what to do with that kind of positivity sometimes. And in those moments in particular, I want you to really embrace the fact that that is what people need more of. So if you feel like you're getting shut down for doing a good thing, do more of it. I think that Satan would like nothing more than to stop us dead in our tracks and to knock us down whenever we try to do good things. And if we just let that happen and we just lay back and say, oh, woe is me, I'm always getting attacked, we're gonna get attacked more. We just have to realize that people don't get it because this world has gotten very off track. And so the solution is to love more, not to stop and not to return it with hate, but more love. And the good news is God's love is endless. And because of that, if you're connected to his divine love, it will flow out of you without you even realizing how <laughs> it just is amazing, even when you're getting attacked. 
Okay, so I think that's good for, for that. I probably went way overboard, but I hope that you got the message. You are serving a purpose even here today with me. So let's say a prayer. Father God, I am so grateful that you've given me these wonderful people that come and talk and listen and share feedback and the connections that you have given me through this platform, through this ability to talk to people. I pray that you would come into their moment right now and give them a sense of peace. If they need a direction, give them a direction. If they need a sense of a higher purpose, then shine a light on that for them. Let it just be more abundantly clear. And Lord, above all, I just pray that we would do our purpose in our moment, in the day, in the way that you have designed it, that as we go, we would just be shining light and love and giving people more of what this world lacks. Thank you so much for bringing all of these friends here. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. So we're going to go for a walk. I have done a few different runway walks, some in a different outfit. And I did that on purpose for a purpose <laughs> because I thought, you know, different times, different outfits for the same pair of shoes, same purpose, but things might look a little different. <laughs> so that's why you'll see the different look with the jeans as well as with the dress. So you can also chime in and let me know if you like the shoes better with the jeans or with the dress. And with the Patreon crowd, when the Patreon launches, this video is going to be longer with extra footage and a little bit of behind the scenes and stuff like that, which is just part of how I'm going to kind of build that content over there. So hopefully we will get this all together by January 1st. Okay, let's go take a walk. Well, I said take a walk, but I forgot I had to do a shoe review first, and then we'll take a walk. So here, it's a little closer up of these shoes. They are shiny black. And let's see, they are 37, which is an actually a seven. I am a six and a half typically. And if they don't come in half sizes, I usually go up half of a size. So this brand, Kamsu, did not come, I think, in a half size, if I recall. And so we have a full size, size seven. Okay. So the heel, I don't know if you like that or not. I think it's fine. It's a clear, whoops, sorry if it's the focus isn't good since I'm doing a review. It's a clear little heel, which I think is perfectly fine. I think most of my heels probably have like the same color, um, but that doesn't bother me at all. Oh, you see my gash on my leg again. So they're really comfortable. Um, when I took these out of the package, my husband was on the phone and he gave me the thumbs up with the mouth open. <laughs> he liked them. And I started walking around the house in them. As you know, the wood floors at this house are fine with a heel on it because they're not so soft as my other house was. So I've been walking around in them and they're really easy to wear and comfortable. My kids liked them too. So I would wear them not to work. I can't wear open shoes, but I would wear them with dresses and I would wear them to church. I would wear them in the summer. I would wear them in the winter, at least around here and jeans and slacks. So I think they're really cute. All right, now let's go for a walk. Okay, let's take a walk. Do you really still want me to talk through all of these portions? 
Oh boy, and I'm hoping the background noise doesn't kick up while I'm recording this because I have a closet being installed at the moment while I'm editing here. So hopefully it doesn't get super loud behind me, but yeah, so these shoes are a lot easier to keep on if you have paid attention to some of my other high heel shoe reviews, but definitely cute. And I think I stepped in that crack once, but other than that, <laughs> it it's going about a lot better, I think, on this go around, right? So, oh, there I do it. <laughs> that was it. That was the trip. Just after I said I was doing well. Okay, well, thanks for being with me, and this will go up on Patreon later with the extended version that is not quite ready yet, but you will find that in the near future. Live today and every day on fire.